As movable walls get taller, installation poses new challenges. The tracks are getting higher, further away from the floor, and the panels are getting bigger. Huffcore's solution has been to develop a heavy lift procedure for hanging panels over six meters. It has proven reliable, efficient, and safe. The method makes use of simple, specialized equipment and standard, readily available higher lifters. Huffcore recently installed 54 eight meter tall, movable wall panels at the Adelaide showgrounds. The operation went smoothly once again proving the value of the heavy lift technique pioneered and developed by Huffcore over the past 10 years. In 2001, Huffcore was commended for the safety of the procedure. On the Adelaide Showgrounds project, crews averaged just 15 minutes to unload, unpack, load, lift, and install each panel. Coordinated planning is essential to achieve a smooth workflow. The heavy lift process brings operational benefits for projects using panels with long throw bottom seals four meters or higher. New stillages were designed to maximize truck loading, reducing both transport costs and downtime waiting for trucks to arrive on site. Each stillage holds six panels. Three stillages fit on a standard truck, delivering 18 panels to the site per truckload. The truck must have a crane fitted for removal of panels using a spreader bar. Unloading time with a crew of four men should be about 30 minutes per 18 panel truckload. Make sure that sufficient yellow trolleys have been pre-delivered to the site and are at the unloading area to take the panels as they come off the truck. The yellow trolleys have been custom designed for this application. Use them for safety and to avoid damage. Ensure the truck's outriggers place a tilt on the tray, preventing panels falling out of the stillages and onto the workers as the shoring bars are removed. Unloading one panel at a time, load it into two trolleys. Position the trolleys out towards the end of the panel, at least two and a half meters apart. The panel lifter will attach to the panel in the center section. As panels get taller in height, the trolley should be moved out further to prevent excessive overhang. With all panels offloaded, the packing is removed prior to lifter connection. Taking care not to damage the panel surface with the blade, slice through the top of the box and tear down the sides of the cardboard. If a bottom timber packer is used, it has to be cut off. The Fiend Multimaster or similar tool is good for this task. Remove the packing inserts and place the panel in line, ready for installation. Some simple preparation is necessary ahead of installation dates. For this project, the carriers were pre-loaded into the track and then screwed into the pintles with the panel standing vertical. This eliminates the need to work through the escape section. Check with the hire company that the forklift is compatible with the lifters. To attach the lifter, the tines and back guard are to be removed. The main bar across the front is to have a 60 mm OD. Remove the 60 mm OD bar. Position the lifter's rotating head into the line of the 60 mm OD bar and reinsert the bar. Ensure that the bar is fully tightened and secure. This now locks the lifter to the fork or manitou. A five-person crew is needed. Two on the floor, two working aloft, and one in the forklift. Position the panel over the fixed rail of the lifter and lift on the fork to take the weight of the panel. Move the sliding rail down onto the top of the panel and lock off. Secure the two ratchet straps around the panel's width and tighten. Tie off excess strap. Clear away any remaining packaging and the trolleys. Secure the remaining two ratchet straps down through the center of the bottom rail and back up the opposite side of the panel, tighten off the ratchet. As the panel is lifted, the floor team rotates it to an upright position. The forklift driver raises the panel slowly as men working aloft guide him into position under the track. The fork driver takes instruction from the men in the scissor lift. When the panel is in position under the track, the crew working aloft screws the carriers into the pintles. When the correct embedment depth is reached, lock off the nut. The team working aloft now descends to the lifter 
and disconnects the ratchet straps running to the bottom of the panel. For safety, warn the floor crew of falling straps. Release the module width ratchet straps. Release the sliding rail, making sure the rail lock screws are re-secured. The floor crew uses safety lines to ensure that the lifter doesn't freely spin when disconnected. The fork can now move freely back from the installed panel and lower the lifter. Move the panel into the stack bay and commence installation of the next panel in line. This installation method has proved to be straightforward, safe and efficient for panels over 6 metres. Simple pre-planning to have all components and handling gear on hand will avoid delays. Once the crew is trained and gets some experience, installation is achieved quickly and safely with significant labour and higher equipment cost savings. Thanks to HuffCorp.